The Big Bang explains the evolution of the universe from a starting density and temperature that is well beyond humanity's capability to replicate. So extrapolations to the most extreme conditions and earliest times are necessarily more speculative. Lemaitre called this initial state the primeval atom, while Gamow called the material, Wylam. How the initial state of the universe originated is still an open question. But the Big Bang model does constrain some of its characteristics. For example, specific laws of nature most likely came to existence in a random way. But as inflation models show, some combinations of these are far more probable. A flat universe implies a balance between gravitational potential energy and other energy forms, requiring no additional energy to be created. The Big Bang theory, built upon the equations of classical general relativity, indicates a singularity at the origin of cosmic time, and such an infinite energy density may be a physical impossibility. However, the physical theories of general relativity and quantum mechanics as currently realized are not applicable before the Planck epoch, and correcting this will require the development of a correct treatment of quantum gravity. Certain quantum gravity treatments, such as the Wheeler-DeWitt equation, imply that time itself could be an emergent property. As such, physics may conclude that time did not exist before the Big Bang. While it is not known what could have preceded the hot dense state of the early universe or how and why it originated, or even whether such questions are sensible, speculation abounds on the subject of cosmogony. Some speculative proposals in this regard, each of which entails untested hypotheses, are the simplest models in which the Big Bang was caused by quantum fluctuations. That scenario had very little chance of happening. But, according to the totalitarian principle, even the most improbable event will eventually happen. It took place instantly, in our perspective, due to the absence of perceived time before the Big Bang. Models in which the whole of spacetime is finite, including the hartle hawking no boundary condition. For these cases, the Big Bang does represent the limit of time but without a singularity. In such a case, the universe is self-sufficient. Brin cosmology models, in which inflation is due to the movement of Brin's in string theory. The pre-Big Bang model. The ekpyrotic model, in which the Big Bang is the result of a collision between Brin's. And the cyclic model. A variant of the ekpyrotic model in which collisions occur periodically. In the latter model the Big Bang was preceded by a big crunch in the universe cycles from one process to the other. Eternal inflation. In which universal inflation ends locally here and there in a random fashion. Each endpoint leading to a bubble universe. Expanding from its own Big Bang. Proposals in the last two categories see the Big Bang as an event in either a much larger and older universe or in a multiverse.